which I'm going to be using one of these today. While I was there, I also got some new colours, uh, some Liquitex. So we've got the, I'm going to read upside down, cadmium yellow, fluorescent orange, ultramarine blue, uh, crimson, nap, naps, oh god, I can't pronounce that one, uh, and purple, and a black. So I'm going to try be trying some Liquitex basics. I also got a couple of Reeves colours, um, the copper and the fluorescent pink. But I won't be using those today. I'm going to make up a mix of Floetrol and Elmar's glue, Australian Floetrol and Elmar's glue as a pouring medium. Um, I think it's time I started experimenting with those with with my own recipe. So basically I'm just gonna go 50-50 and I'm gonna put it into a container. I've got a litre container. I'm only gonna make half a litre though, because I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. <clears throat> Just wondering actually, I might stir. So I probably should have actually used the 500 gram cup, which I also bought from Spotlight. <laughs> I'm having a, a big sale after Boxing Day, even though that was last year. <clears throat> yeah. I think I'll give it a good stir before I put it into the, bo uh, the bottle. So 250 mils of this. So I'm just doing one, one to one. Actually, while while I have these separate, I'm actually curious to know the individual consistencies. Which one's thicker? Okay, so that's the flow troll. And then, oh yeah, right, look at that. Okay, so I think they do say that the Australian Floetrol is thinner than the American one. That's weird. It's kind of... S yeah. Okay. Let's pour them together and give them a stir. And let's see what consistency this gets. Because I'm pretty sure my pores have been too thin. mixing it for a bit. So I'll be testing this out for the next few pours. Okay. I was going to use the Monty Mart black, but I've decided because black is my base colour. I've decided to use the uh, all the same brand. Let's see how that goes because I need it all to be the same consistency. And I'm going to need a fair bit of this black. And then I'm going to do one part paint to three parts pouring medium. 
I can't see how much is enough. It's about two and a half parts to one part. And give that a good stir. Hopefully it turns nice and black. I'm only using a fairly small canvas, so it should be enough. I hope. It's about half a cup. Alright. Now, because it's a small canvas, and I've got other colours, I'm only going to do... I couldn't find my bigger cups, so we're going to go with Tinksy Wincy Cups. And I'm going to fill them and I'll do the same consistency. Wow, this red's quite bright. I was tempted then to mix it with something else, but I'm not going to because the experiment is to keep it all the same. And this is fluorescent orange, which I'm hoping is going to look just amazing. Oh, just a piece of paper. one isn't there <laughs> let it run off a bit first I promise I'll get better <laughs> all right let me turn this around Black's the runniest. That's not good. It's the thickest. All right. Add a little bit of water. Two to that. So it's taken me six goes to get it to where I wanted it. I've added a little bit more to the orange. And I'm not going to retest it. Should be enough. But yeah, started here. The black was super runny and then we've ended up here okay let's get excited doing a black base i've also got this white swipe mix so we're going to be swiping it Okay, I'm going to put the colours in a line, starting with purple. And if this sinks to the bottom, I'm going to cry. Red. Make sure it's nice and stirred. Dropped a couple of spots. We needed to cross that over a bit more. Might add a bit more purple. Okay. So I didn't really want the black in between. That's better. Wow. And then some yellow. Okay. We're going to swipe. The 
orange is sinking a bit, which was the slightly heavier one. Let's go through the middle. Oh, starting on the pebble. I wonder if I should go this way, because that didn't quite finish. Didn't press hard enough. It's all an experiment. Am I going too slow? I'm going to try this last one a bit faster. feel like I'm gonna try swiping this way. white here, which you don't really want, but I like that purple, this is going to be hard to tell, I'm going to lose that purple.
not what I was expecting. Results. Quite like the, the purple. I think I've added too much white. The pops of orange coming through look interesting. And then we've got some lacing down here. On the yellows. So we'll see how it dries. It's an experiment, everything is at the moment. Here's the dried results. The colour's not quite as bright as it was before. But still quite nice. White did drop down a bit, not quite as bad as I thought. So yeah, here we go.